Hi everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today is Tuesday and the look that I'm going to create is based off of Emily in Paris, that TV show. Um, I've never seen it before personally, but I saw a really pretty palette that one of the artists had come up with and it seems to be pretty simple as well. So this should not take too long. <laughs> Barring we don't have any kind of issues. Um, so, I'm just going to grab my eyeshadow brush. And the color that is going to go over my lid. And I'm just going to take it all the way up. Um, and I'm going to use the feather end for that. And that is going to be London. Which is this one right here. So... I'm just going to take, grab the feather end of it, just go in, blow off the excess, and then take it up into my brow bone. And I'm just doing this very, very lightly. And I will drag the color um, underneath my eye. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Just to get y'all know near that lash line real good. And I'm just, you know, going back and forth with it. Um, very lightly, like I said. Um, this is going to be kind of a more natural look hopefully and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye and just going back and forth with it very lightly taking it up I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. The sun's out here, which is good. I am very happy about that. That way my dogs can go out and play. And uh, don't have to worry about them being trapped inside all day. Because then, you know, it really does become like a three-ring circus in my house. With all of them trapped in. Not being able to get all that energy out. Because we do have big dogs. Um, and then one little small dog. Um, which everybody kind of laughs. They're like. Y'all have all these big dogs. We have two pits that we rescued. Um, all of our dogs are rescues. Um, a Carolina dog. We have an Argentinian Mastiff. And then they had an accidental litter, so we ended up with, um, I kept four of those puppies. Um, because I was very, um, I don't know how you want to put it. I was very picky about the homes that the puppies went into, um, because one of their breed, um, you know, Argentinian Mastiffs are kind of confused with pits, um, and they're used or like hunting boars and stuff like that. Um, and so I was just very, very, very picky about the homes and did home visits. I was like a mom sending her kid off to school. Um, so anyways, so we have four of them and then we also have, um, I'm trying to think, we have the deaf pit boxer mix that we just rescued. Um, the beginning of December, beginning of this month, the adoption became official. Um, but it has been like, it was like a two month long process um, of introducing her to our dogs and making sure they got along and things like um, that. So, yeah. And then the little tiny little Shih Tzu, which was my husband's when I met him. Um, so 
So anyways, um, the next color that I'm going to do is this bright blue right here. And I don't use it too, too much, but we're going to use that for the outer and the crease. And we're just going to see how this goes. Um, and the color is Da Ba D. And it is actually um, on sale. We're having a boxing sale right now um, through December 31st um, or until supplies run out. Um, so... I'm just going to take this end of the eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to lightly go in with it because it is such a bright blue um, and I hardly ever use it. Um, and I'm just going to go, like I said, just I'm holding the brush very lightly and just going into my crease with any of the residue. Y'all see, I have not picked anything else up. And I am just kind of moving everything around and just blending. Very, very, very lightly with this color. It is really pretty. Um, And so, I'm going to start on the other eye, um, just still with this excess residue that's on the brush from the color. And then I'm just doing a, another little small tap, and once again, just going in lightly. I'm not, I'm concentrating really hard um, with this color. And fluff this side out. And like I said, I'm just using the fluffy end of the brush and just kind of trying to get any of those harsh lines out. Just to soften it up. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And we're just going back and forth. And then moving the color just a little bit inward and then I believe I'm actually going to take the smudge end of the brush which is what I call it and go in a little bit more with that really pretty London just for that contrast and I am going to drag it down um, as well so, I'm just, I've got my artist palette, so it's full, so I have to keep switching around, but anyways. And, like I said, I'm just taking that London and going just a little bit darker with it. And then 
then do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm just kind of going into the crease with it as well. Just kind of mixing the two colors together. And now I'm just wiping my brush since I was mixing and we are going to actually first I'm going to grab my Beauty Perfector and get some of that blue that dropped down. Now I'm just checking just some y'all know just to make sure that everything is good with both eyes before I start doing the finishing look. Alright. Sorry I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm one of those if I get woke up then I have issues falling back asleep and my husband decided to call me right when I was falling asleep around 9 o'clock because I get up at 5.15 in the morning and I'm going all day. And, uh, yeah. And so, I didn't go back. I couldn't fall back asleep until about, oh, I don't know, 1 o'clock in the morning. But it had to do with, um, a dog, um. So, anyways, um, and and I'm just doing that London underneath my other eye. to take the angle brush and go in lightly with that dot body I kind of use that as well just to connect it And it's almost, you know, using it like an eyeliner. Um, and I'm using this angled um, brush. And doing the other side. So even though it is, you know, I am using like a blue, it's still um, kind of a natural um, look um, just because of the purple and what I'm about to do with unicorn is just kind of go on my brow bone with it as well. And what I'm doing is that y'all know I'm just kind of blending everything. Grab this. All right, and then what I'm going to do is 
get the unicorn. And, uh, and I have not done my lip or cheeks yet either because it's part of this look. Um, and I think what I may do is take the fluffy in. And with that unicorn, just go on the brow bone with it. And then kind of over that blue. And I'm just kind of mixing everything in. for the other eye. And, uh, you know, I'm just lightly going in with the um, unicorn over, over the whole eye. All right, so and I'm just kind of just dabbing underneath. All right, so now, now that we have that. Mascara time and then the lip and cheek. It's like awfully quiet in my house. I just now realized that I'm so used to, I'm like, nobody's barking. I'm like, it's super quiet. It's almost scary quiet. <laughs> so that's done. Now, uh, here, and I'm going to grab this really pretty, it's like a pink purple. It's called Plum. Um, and that is going to be what's going to go on my lip and cheeks. So, I am going to grab the brush. And just getting... like the apples of my cheeks and just stifling it in, which is pretty much just pressing it into the skin. Do the other. And it doesn't take a lot. But this right here is one of my favorite lip and cheek colors. Now, 
And y'all see I'm using my back mirror. So now I'm going to grab just a little bit more for this side. It's hard to see when you don't have your compact in front of you. Take this and blend it out a little bit. And the brush that I'm using is the brush and bronzer. Um, I went really um, for my regular makeup. Um, I did not use the pro bronzer the Bella bronzer that I normally use um, I did the two finger um, application um, just very lightly I'm just gonna take my finger and uh, And there we go. Take this out so y'all can see the uh, completed look. I did curl my hair this morning. And these curls will last for probably about five days. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the eye look. I'm going to get close so y'all can see that is based off the palette Emily in Paris. So if y'all have watched the show or anything, um, just let me know how I did. And like I said, one of our talented saint artists, she looks at these different colors that we have and she will do different eye palettes. Um, and then, so that's what I use a lot is, um, the colors that she has, but she doesn't, you know, have on there where to put them. So she kind of leaves it up to you on where you want to place them and how you want to use it. But anyway, so there's just a little random thing in there. So y'all have a great Tuesday and I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow. Bye.